So how do you navigate to different lines in your document using Vim? Well, you're gonna use the G key for that. Unfortunately, it does a lot else as well. Hey, welcome to the next video in Vim Alphabet, a series where we cover Vim from A to Z, literally every letter in the alphabet one at a time. Today, we're talking about G. Now, G is a cluster. It is, it's got a bunch of stuff jammed into it. And I think that the approach that I'm gonna take is just gonna show you, I'm going to show you the things that I use most. And those are gonna be the navigation, like go to line. So a lot of people think of G as go to, as in go to this line, go to this line, go to a place in the document. And that works um, for a subset of the things that G can do. Um, but it can also be used as a modifier, um, a general purpose modifier to um, a lot of the other commands. So um, for that reason, I don't like to think about G as go, but only a couple of the commands as go. Um, but typically I think of G as general or uh, garbage. <laughs> uh, there's just so much stuff jammed into it. And um, usually I show you the help at the end, but um, today I'm going to show you um, from the beginning. So we're gonna look at help for G real quick. And you can see that um, there are a lot of G commands. Now, typically it's like you have the lowercase version, the uppercase version, maybe there's like a double uh, letter and um, that's kind of about it. Not so with G. G really is stuffed with a bunch of stuff. There are two keys like this, is G and Z, um, and they just um, are kind of the junk drawers for a lot of um, additional commands. Um, now, that isn't to say that G has to be complicated. You can just learn the things that you need to know and uh, you'll you'll be good to go. Um, a lot of these things are really kind of like obscure and bizarre anyway. And you'll see that um, in many cases that G just acts as a prefix to other letters that you already know, kind of changing their behavior just a little bit slightly. Um, so for example, G E, we know that E goes to the end of a line. Um, go backwards to the end of the previous word. Um, so whereas E usually moves forward, um, G capital E will move backward. What I wanna show you are a handful of G commands that I use all of the time. So the first one, I'm gonna use the arrow keys to navigate down a little bit, is double G, G, G. That will take you to the first line in your document. Pretty simple. Now, capital G will do the opposite. Capital G will take you to the bottom of your document, the very last line in your document. So again, GG to go all the way to the top, the first line, capital G to go all the way to the bottom. Now, what if we want to hit any of these lines in between? Well, we can use a number, so like two and capital G, and that will navigate to the number that we provided prefixing the command. So if we go 4G, they'll go to the fourth line. Now, not all files are um, have these line numbers here because I, I added these just to differentiate which, ones, um, which one was which. Um, so in Vim, I'm gonna show you another command where we can do set, which is setting a preference or a variable. I'm gonna say number. Set number gives us um, line numbers for each of our numbers. Uh, the, opposite of that is set no number, and that will turn those line numbers off. Now, what I wanted to show that to you for is so that you can kind of see how this would work, and if you wanted to use it, um, that you would be able to see those line numbers so you're not just throwing line numbers in in the dark. Where this becomes particularly useful is if you are um, you know, in a testing environment and it tells you that uh, the file is bad at a certain line, um, you can just go to you know 3G for lines three, now you're on line three, you know exactly where to go. So this is um, a very useful tool. I'm gonna show you one more thing which has to do with visual mode. Um, in visual mode, you can make a visual selection as we've um, covered before. 
Um, something very cool, um, and this is really one of the G commands that I use the most, or G prefixed variations that I use the most. If I do G and V, it will reselect the last visual selection that I made. So that's just a little bit of a bonus. Um, I think the other ones are going to be more uh, more useful to you generally. So again, GG goes to the top, first line of the document, capital G, bottom of the document, last line. Um, and then if we give it a number and capital G, it will go to the line number that we gave it. So that's it, that's everything that you need to know about G right now. Um, if you want to see what else is in there and see if there are any helpful uh, alterations to commands that we've already learned, you can dive in there with the help and um, kind of find something f fun and exciting for you to use. Um, but really, that's it for today. Tomorrow, we will be covering H, J, K, and L. Now I'm doing those together because they would be really boring individual videos if we uh, did them individually. Um, but that's what we will cover tomorrow. I'll see you then.